Next up is Bertle. When a featherless baby bird named Teeny plops into Turtle Town, she meets Tootie, a turtle who innocently thinks that she is a turtle without a shell. Teeny, unaware that she's a bird, happily follows Tootie's lead. With Tootie's help, Teeny finds a shell, a home, and a best friend in Turtle Town. We love the cuteness and sweetness of Bertle. It's fun and engaging, but not too sugary. There are no other turtle books that we've seen as early reader graphic novels. The two-color approach by author-illustrator Tara J. Hannon really sets this book apart, with purple and red as the focus in book one, and blue and orange as the focus in book two, which will be out in summer 2024. Themes explored in this graphic novel are being yourself, making friends, and accepting others despite their differences. I'm excited because Tootie and Teeny both need to find their place in Turtle Town. It's not just Teeny the bird. Tootie always wants to play tag, but turtles don't really like moving very fast and don't want to play tag with her. So when she meets Teeny, they really hit it off and become fast friends. Teeny, of course, wants to fit in, but no other turtles have feathers on their butts, so she wonders how she's going to do that too. And also, turtle takeout is not very tasty. These two unlikely friends start each other and create a remarkable friendship. And the sequel, Bertle and the un Very Unwelcome Seagull, will see our two friends dealing with jealousy and saying sorry while visiting the beach. So definitely check out Bertle because author illustrator Tara J. Hannon has created something incredibly special. The kindest thing we can do for someone is to love them just the way they are. That is the origin of Bertle. Let me tell you what I mean. Teeny is a featherless baby bird that plops into Turtle Town and meets Tootie. They become best friends. They both assume that Teeny is just a turtle without a shell. But when Teeny starts sprouting feathers, she is immediately devastated because her suspicions that she is different than the others begin to be confirmed. So her immediate reaction is to ask Tootie to pluck the feathers. But Tootie's reaction is, why can't we just love the feathers? And I just love Tootie's reaction to that. I want everybody to be loved the way that Tootie loves Teeny and eventually the way that Teeny loves herself. Just love your feathers. And I'd be real thrilled if you love the books too.